classic first egg of a bird reckon? that hasn't laid yeah. ever before. Because of the long. length. Long. And it yeah. also looks um, gritty. Yeah. God, that must have took some laying. <laughs> and why? Hello, I'm Nigel Jarrett and I'm speaking from our Spoonbill Sandpiper Conservation Breeding Facility at Slimbridge. I'm in our incubation area and I've got some wonderful news to share with you, absolutely marvellous news. After four years of waiting patiently, our Spoonbill Sandpipers have started to lay eggs. Now for the last three years we've got very excited because the males have, have, have became territorial, they've sang, they've defended nest scrapes that they've made, but the females have never shown any interest until this year. And not only have the females shown interest by visiting and gardening those nest scrapes that the males have made, they've actually made themselves available to, to those males for copulation. We've recorded on camera many copulation, uh, successful copulations and finally we have eggs, the females have laid eggs in those nests and now exclusively I can show you some of the eggs in one of the artificial incubators we have here at the facility. I've got two eggs in this machine, this is a very special machine operating at a high relative humidity and that's because these eggs just look a little bit like they might have thin shells, they don't appear to have the waxy cuticle that's normal on, on wader eggs. The other eggs, the normal eggs, are in an incubator operating at a standard incubation temperature and humidity behind me. Now spoonbill sandpipers usually lay an egg every 36 hours or so. There's normally four eggs in a clutch, so it takes a female about a week to lay a clutch of four eggs. Because the birds are living in a polytunnel, which can get quite warm in the sunny weather that we've had recently, we've collected the eggs daily and kept them cool in this room. You can hear the AC operating in the background. That's there to, to keep a steady environment for the eggs to be stored and eventually artificially incubated in. Um, the four eggs, with, where have I got it? Each weigh about eight, eight grams, so a female will lay more than her own body weight in eggs after six days. That is what a spoonbill sandpiper egg looks like. This is a, a pot dummy. It's an artificial egg that we put in the nest in place of the real eggs. So you can imagine the female is, is putting a lot of energy and effort into laying up to 32 grams of eggs when she first started her own body weight was only 24 grams. She's laying almost her own weight and half her own weight in eggs in a period of six days. So what we do when we have four eggs is let the female and the male incubate those eggs for a little while to kind of recover from all of the energy that's gone or energy expenditure that's gone into laying and then after a few days we remove the dummies in the hope that the female will lay a second clutch so we can literally double our numbers. Now at this present time we don't know if the eggs are viable. We will check for viability in a week's time by shining a bright, we'll turn the lights out in this space so it becomes very dark and we'll shine this candling lamp which has a very very strong bright cool light I must say, it won't cook the eggs when we bring the shell close to the, 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 the light. We'll be able to see inside the eggs, be able to see if there's blood vessels, if there's a heartbeat, if there's an eye and a beak forming and that will tell us that we have an embryo growing inside which hopefully will mean we'll record the first ever breeding of spoonbill sandpipers outside of Russia which is you know, critically important for the, the long term survival of this species in our world. I want to thank you very very much you know, all of us are very, very grateful. We couldn't do this without your support. 
to run the conservation breeding program, but also to, to continue with our head starting program in Russian, Russia, where birds are being hatched and reared as we speak. Uh, so really, thank you very much for your support. Come back again and see some chicks in maybe three weeks time, or possibly in a couple of weeks time when we candle the eggs. Thank you.